他男友已已经到了机场，不管他的哪班机，我们会跟上。Listen, Amanda, we're going to move to Los Santos. Start over. I made a deal. The slate will be totally wiped clean. Hey, everybody, pay attention. No one gets hurt. Trust me, darling. Look at me, Amanda. It was the only thing I could do. Either everyone dies or one guy gets out. I'm that guy. Slow and steady, T. Slow and steady. His name Shit. is Dave Norton. Nice guy, realist. He gets the glory, I get out. It's not even a decision. Amanda, I don't have a choice. Do you want to die here where it's always snowing? Or do you want to go and live where it's always sunny? All right. Some depot out of town, you don't need to know. Trust me, nothing is gonna go wrong. Nothing. Yeah, I hear you. We gotta follow the plan. Everything will work out. I did the deal, Amanda. It's over. Baby, we get out. Be happy. Be normal. It ain't supposed to go down like this. We did it. Baby, we are home free. It's over. This is fucked, man. The thing is blown. Just this one job, and everything is done. Everything is done. Everything is done. Everything is done. Hey, you're wasting your time. Is that why you flew out here? Huh? Tell me I'm wasting my time? Go ahead, dig it up. I don't give a shit. Yeah, that's what you look like. The guy who doesn't give a shit. That's ridiculous. How long are you gonna keep lying for, Mikey, huh? When's it gonna stop? What happens in the dark? Comes out in the light. I'll give it a rest, Trevor. There's nothing there. Uh, this is it. Moment of truth. I didn't know. Brad! Look, we do what we gotta do to survive. This thing, it didn't work out the way it was supposed to. Oh, and how was that, huh? With Brad in the can and me in the ground, or, 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 or both of us in the coffin? Brad got shot. You saw it. He didn't make it. I got shot, I did. That's, that's it. 
I think the only thing that didn't go as planned was me showing up on your doorstep ten years later. Mikey, I mourned you. And I missed you. But I got a fucking family, Trevor. We were all gonna die. He did die. You reptilian motherfucker! I didn't want it to come to this. Yes, you did! You just don't have the fucking balls to do it! But I do! I got more to lose than you. Never a truer word has been spoken, brother. Now pull the fucking trigger! You ain't got the guts. Take the fucking shot! Who is that? Fuck! 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 Joe Phillips! Mr. Cho has requested a word! Hey, ho, ho! I'm not the guy you're looking for! Hey, tell this to me! Tell this to me! Get the boyfriend! Boyfriend? Motherfucker. Let's have a talk! Hey, 
Trevor Phillips Industries. Mr. Phillips, this is Wei Chang. You know my eldest son, Tao. Yeah, the ex-nut. Backed out of a contract we agreed on. How is he? Still learning the ropes, thank you. My friends miss you in North Yankton. I was hoping we could talk.
going to build you. Patricia! Mrs. Madrazo! Trevor! Oh, I miss you. All you boys. I miss you too. I, I can't speak for the other... boys. You're such good friends. Uh, it's a bit more complicated than that. Actually, Michael and I... Uh, not speaking. Old friendships cannot be replaced. Hey, how are you? Is Martin looking after you? He's here. I've got to go. Trade man's entrance. Don't mind if I do. Ah! He's tooled up! Look out! Uh. I bet I could hit your G-shot every time. Hey, man, no more autographs. Hey, that's okay! I want something more personal! Piss off, you twat, before I kick your ass! Okay! Okay! Come the fuck down, just tell me what you want! You s- Uh, 
Let's say my work is done here. Guess what, you crazy English fruitcake? Oh, I'm dreadful at guessing, aren't I, Mrs. Thornhill? No, she can't hear me. She's washing out a nappy from Samantha Muldoon's dustbin. Yeah, uh, one gold tooth, courtesy of Love Fist, complete with complimentary DNA. Marvelous, marvelous. Oh, Jock, I knew you wouldn't let us down. Toodaloo! Not be here. I go tell the boss. He won't be happy. Hello? This is Nigel. Please be quick. I'm roaming in the United States of America. It's me, you nutcase. I picked up some clothes from your friend Tyler Dixon. There's even a skid mark. What fantastic news! Wait till Mrs. Thornhill hears about... I'm making 
a personal injury claim. I said it, Mrs. Thornhill. I uh, persuaded Mark Faustenberg to donate one of his golf clubs to your Museum of Dysfunction. Oh, bravo! It will take pride of place on the wall above Jill von Krastenberg's pregnancy test. <laughs> Speak to you soon. I love Americans. You're all so brash and uncomplicated.
see my car? Oh my Maybe it's my European sensibilities, but I just connect with that. Can I bet your pooch? I'm a big fan. Dexy, Dexy! That's your fault, you stupid bald prick! Uh, it's no one's fault. Quick! Go on! Go after him! Someone call the pound! And an ambulance! It's a guy chasing a dog! What is it with you people? Doggy! Come on, doggy! Be good to daddy! There, there. I know this is weird for all of us. You're gonna make a batshit crazy lady very happy. <sighs> okay, huh? Now get back to Jerry before she uses this as an excuse to go back to rehab. Chalk! Celebrity newsflash! Maniac steals caller from Gary McIntosh's dog in Rockford Hills! Hey, Gary! Can I pet your pooch? I'm a big fan. Dexy, Dexy! That's your fault, you stupid bald prick! Hey, I'm the painter! Hey, Jackie! Someone call the pound! And an ambulance! It's a guy chasing a dog! What is it with you people? Doggy! Come on, doggy! Be good to daddy! There, there. I know this is weird for all of us. You're gonna make a batshit crazy lady very happy. <sighs> okay, huh? now get back to Jerry before she uses this as an excuse to go back to rehab. Oh! Unbelievable! Chalk! Celebrity newsflash! Maniac steals caller from Gary McIntosh's dog in Rockford Hills! Oh, how delightful! Mrs. Thornhill will have me sporting that in the bedroom before the week is out. <laughs> oh, I, I, I joke, of course. <laughs> we really can't thank you enough for all the effort you're going to to make our holiday so special. Ah, don't mention it. I always enjoy meeting people more chemically unbalanced than myself. What miracle did you want me to perform? Come on, don't waste my time. Close!
Hey, hey. What do you think? Nice house, isn't it? You like it? I'm selling it. You want to buy it? I'm downsizing. No, no, I'm good. I used to sell houses like this all the time, okay? I sold dreams. I made lives meaningful. I'm not sure about that. How oh, about you like? You like beautiful things, though, don't you? Sure. Well, I just happen to know the most beautiful woman. You want a bouncy bouncy. Josh. Josh Bernstein. Yeah. <laughs> I'm the Josh Bernstein. Yeah, I never heard of you. Oh, well, I used to be a big deal once in real estate, and so I had my license taken away. My meal ticket. Where's the chick? I'll get to that, I'll get to that. See, it's not really, it's not really money that I'm after here. It's just, it's a little something more awkward than that. Now, Lenny Avery. <laughs> he, he was my best friend. And now, he has taken all of my clients. All of them. Do you think that you could take out all of his for sale signs? That was easy. She's worth it, man. I love you. I love you. I love you. Lenny Avery. need that car.
inside your house! Lucky miss! Lamar Davis, what's up? I'm part of the team. That's what's up. Team? I don't do teams. Uh, Devin Weston's car still in team? The one Frank's running. Oh, oh yeah, that one. Hey, look, I boosted the ride. I'm about to meet your boy Franklin, and I need your ass to pick up the Packer, meet us outside the garage, and we taking these motherfuckers up to Polito Bay. All right, buddy. Fine. That's a long trip. The boost, homie. How did it go? Any problems? You know me, fool. Yeah, I do know you, fool. So what you think? Smooth as silk. I'm thinking where the blood stains and the bullet holes and shit. Man, fuck. That amateur shit behind me. I'm a professional now, like you and them old dudes. So tell me what happened. I saw the ride. I took the ride. No drama. No security. No one saying, who the fuck is this gangly motherfucker doing in my car? Nothing. That's worrying, man. That's some shady ass shit. Man, shit. Still never pop them guns in the basement. I'll never have a problem. Cush be my friend. Don't go crazy like no other weeds that they blow. Physically, but he's sick. For years, you've been sneered at for a fuck. Bitch, you 
don't see uh, a barber on TV and at the <laughs> On the carrier, huh? My favorite gangbang. We roll a deep, but some bump it in the speaker. Boss man's happy. Then we'll get moving. Man, this old bust ass nigga ain't no boss. Enough, nigga. Get your ass in the truck. Let's go. Sonora Freeway, past Paletto Bay. Hey, it's uh. Cozy in here. Scooch up, homie. Yeah. Scooch over here. Scoochin' in that crazy dude? Oh, hell no. That nigga stank. Get over here. I don't bite. They ain't what I heard. All cannibalistic and shit. Frank, what you been telling him? I say what I see, homie. You dig on man meat. Ah, uh, rumor and hearsay. We got a long way to go. I'd get comfortable. All right, nigga, but don't try nothing. How far is it? And this thing? About four hours. Shit, your operation slick. Boss man ain't gonna like it if we leave them whips behind, man. Get them back on. You need to get that thing on the back of this motherfucker. Bad luck, fool. We good, you old clumsy motherfucker. Man, it's a good thing I told your dumb ass about that shit. Hey, man, where that other dude? The dude that creeped on that dude? Michael? This creeping day is done. Well, what you mean? He stopped creeping? No more creeping for him. He, like, retired from creeping? From everything. That's funny, cause, like, boy Frank didn't mention shit about that. And as a matter of fact, I don't even know the dude. But considering the mutual acquaintances we got, I wouldn't like to get back to the retirement party. There were no party. No party? I use the term retirement euphemistically. Homie, for a dude that kills dudes and eats dudes and fuck dudes, you talk fruit. It's unconfirmed. What's unconfirmed? The fact that you talk stupid or the fact that you do some messed up shit? Or where the other dudes at? Like, maybe he's dead. The last one. Oh shit, man. Fuck! Do Frank know about this? I don't know if Franklin knows, but let's just let him sleep. Shit. Yeah, it's a bummer. But, you know, he was a good guy when he made out. That dude was a killer, a thief, a liar, and irritable as shit. Yeah. A liar, above all else. A fucking liar. Homie, you sound like some bitch he ain't called. Like, who lied to me? I am some bitch he didn't call for ten years. Fuck, man, he fucked you. The fucker got fucked. Damn, he fucked the fucker himself. Shut up. Man, the first time's always special. I hope he was gentle with you. Enough of that. And enough about me fucking. I don't do that. As a rule, maybe when I got to LS, I was I was a little overwhelmed by the place of the black. That ain't who I am, for the most part. But the Michael fucked you. Yeah, the Michael fucked me. And the Michael fucked Brad. And the Michael ran off with the FIB. Brad? Who, who the fuck is Brad? Brad is our boy back from the dead. And Michael killed him? Michael got him killed. He died when Michael faked his death. I thought Michael died and Brad was in the pen, when actually Brad was in the ground and Michael was in hiding. And now Michael's dead and it's all okay? Michael's current condition is unconfirmed. I said that. But if he was dead, you'd be cool because of this Brad dude who died whatever. <sighs> yes. Man, I thought you and Michael were tight. So did I. Okay, that make a lot of fucking sense.
It's a lonely old road, ain't it? Lonely? Hey, I couldn't say. I mean, not really. A road's a road. It ain't got a bad ammunition. Truckers on the blacktop making do. I don't need to make do. I need to make snaps on these rides. Sure. Yeah, the time will come. It's what happens before we get paid is what? Franklin's asleep. It's just me and you. What? What you trying to say? You want me to jack you off or something? Jesus, no. God, no. Of course not. Unless... Man, you's a sick fiend. Just fiending for some friendship. Friendship? Right, whatever, man. It's just... Truckers are a symbol in this country. You know, part of its mythology, like cowboys, gangsters, hobos, gangbanging. Truckers are about the unsexiest myth I ever heard. Apart from hobos. Uh, maybe tied with hobos. Freedom. Loners in the night. You know what truckers do? Cut up women and get other dudes to jack them off? Come to think about it, aside from not lugging freight around the country, you got about all the necessary prerequisites for a fine career in Harlem. No shame in that. If you don't want to get paid or enjoy human contact. Money's bullshit. So is friendship. All right, all right, all right. I see you still touching. How's Franklin doing over there? Ah, uh, dude getting paid to sleep. Don't even worry about him. Ah, the sleep of innocence. So he, like, in charge on this one? You work for him? He's a kind of figurehead. A puppet, if you like. With Devin Weston's hand up his ass. Right up to the elbow. That dude, real sad. Ooh, it's repulsive. But, well, once he's paid us, he can be whatever we want him to be. What you want him to be? I want him to be someone who understands that all the money in the world can't save him from a nasty guy who thinks he's an asshole. Now that's something I want to see. So, uh, tell me, man, how y'all end up meeting? Michael introduced us. Me and Frank didn't exactly travel in similar circles. Nah, I mean the creeper. Michael? Ha! <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, you know. Sorry, if I don't want to reminisce. The wounds ain't healed. You such a delicate that low DSA. Where your pussy at? What you got in there? Screw you. That's good. Let it out, homie. Go on, let it out. Vent. The turd was probably playing me from the start. Right, yeah. Probably. How you doing? Where? When? All right. All right. Fuck. I was running this small air freight outfit in North Yankton. Tiny operation. There's one beagle I could borrow when I needed it. We were kids. Kids with planes. So, this guy I know says there's this other guy needs some hot cargo moved across the border. Money's good, and I don't know enough to check references, so I'm in. A few days later, I'm waiting on the runway. I see this dust coming up off the road, only... Oh, shit, what's happening? Wake up, you dozy motherfucker. What time is on the ride? What you gonna do, oh fearless leader? Alright, shit! I'll handle this. If you keep driving, I'll use the JB-700 to get rid of him. Man, Molly said there'd be some hardware on board. Shit, we'll see. What the fuck is wrong with you? Hey, take this headset. Like it don't. Huh? Man, I should have known this would go wrong. 